What is going on guys? My name is Domo Gibbo. Welcome back to another brand new video. Now today we're talking fantasy Premier League teams. I'm going to go through my 11, my all 11 players for this season's Premier League fantasy team. So uh, let's get straight into it. So going off in the number one spot, it's obviously going to have to be Joao just because he's, you know, Man City man. Uh, he did, for the first start of the season, he was really good and then as soon as like Guardiola and obviously that like, got announced a little bit before that. Uh, Stink started to get weird, you know. It, it was it wasn't the best, and he wasn't you know at his worst. It was an average, but obviously not average for Joao. Obviously De Gea and Joao and and Petr Cech all fighting for the Golden Glove. And I think it was Michael as well. So it was kind of close, and uh, it was kind of it was kind of difficult to to pick really. I wanted to go for De Gea. I think he could have a good a better season than Joao, but you know um, from Joao's England, you know, kind of like fuck up. He's just fucked up a lot of times. I, I don't, I don't really quite know. I, it's kind of a hard one to decide for to go with either Joa or De Gea. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with Joa for now. I might switch to De Gea depending on um, how the season goes. But I'm just thinking new managers for both clubs. They both gonna want to prove, especially uh, Joa and especially De Gea. They're gonna want to like prove themselves for the best managers in the world. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with Joa for now. See how that, see how that plans out. For the defence now, this is probably the weakest part of the actual whole team because I can only choose one good player and the rest has to be like kind of shitty but kind of decent at the same time. For the first defender, I've gone with Hendry. Like he's just literally like you know a, a centre back that I'm just gonna use for like you know <laughs> what's it? You know when you've got like you can't afford anyone else, so you just gotta slap him in there. Let's let's see him. So hopefully he has a good season. Never already played. Never watched him play before. He was literally like the cheapest one there, and he plays for West Ham. So hopefully he might get some game time and keep a clean sheet, get us some points. The second one is going to be Chris Smalley. Now um, I think he it says an S next to his name with a red red thingy. I don't know if that means uh, I think it means injured because of that fucking like jellyfish shit. Unless that means a card, I don't know. But he had absolutely a phenomenal season. Uh, I think he had the um, the best or the most clean sheet. Some if that, if it wasn't Tottenham, he had one of the best defenses in the league because of Chris Smalley. I'll put him in there over company because companies. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, that's another hard one as well. I think. I, it's like it's yeah. Again, it's an hard one. It's like the hard over day. Um, I, I really can't decide. I might stick over company. But yeah, again, this. Uh, yeah, I might go with small and just because they had the better defense last year. But then again, it's a new manager, new season. Then I don't know really who to go for. I think. It's really hard. It's really tough to, to choose. I think Smalling will have a, a better season. It hurts to say that, but I think he will do. Um, to, just because of the season he had last time. But for the third, oh, well, the third centre back role, I'm going to go with Winston Reid. I went for him last time, uh, last season. He had a few on enough games, a few red cards, average points about, about I think it was like 56 or something. Uh, I think he got about 70 last time. I don't quite know. But I'm gonna go with Winston Reid just because he, I don't know if I don't know about West Ham signings or anything just like defenders wise. But he at the end of the, at the end of well towards the end of last season he did have a good couple of other games. You know he scored some important goals, defended and got some quite quite some good blocks. So he definitely earned some points that last time. And I'm gonna choose him. Yet again, budget reasons to earned, But I think he's definitely a good player to choose for West Ham because they are definitely rising up as well in the league as well as going into Europa League and whatnot. And for the fourth defender spot, I'm going to go with Bertrand. Uh, he seems to be a favourite. He costs quite a lot. He had an absolutely awesome season last season. And um, yeah, it's just literally like um, a good defender. I've got what one bad defender, I think, in there. And I'm just I'm debating whether Small in or company. Uh, let me know in the comments who you've got in your team. I don't really know. I might have to stick with Small in just because of the point reason, but hopefully he'll have a... Now moving on to the midfield. Yeah, again, it's... Well, that, this is probably the best part about it. Uh... The first midfielder, I'm going with David Silva. Uh, you know, David Silva, everyone knows David Silva, the, the best. I'm, I'm going to say this as a City fan, but, you know, he's definitely one of the best passers of the ball in the game. Everyone knows it. Like, you can't even deny it. He's, he, is, he is awesome. Like, he's, there's no doubt about it. Like, I think under Guardiola, he'll be absolutely amazing for passing and assisting. So, I'm going to put him in there. And he was awesome last season as well, but obviously, he had injuries. The second midfielder, okay. Yet again, another budget reason, never heard of him in my life. So he's just in there. The third midfielder, absolutely amazing season last season, is Meza Ozil. Absolutely amazing season. I don't know how many assists he got, but he got over 200 points or something silly like that. So I can't see him having another bad season. If Arsenal do sign an amazing striker, yeah, again, Ozil's just going to be feeding him in for fun. So he's definitely going to have a good season, I think, again, if Arsenal get a good striker. So uh, count on you, Arsenal. 
And for the last midfielder spot, who else but Kevin De Bruyne? Absolutely just kick-started this season amazingly. Um, literally, there's nothing else to say. Uh, obviously, Ozil was better than him, unfortunately. But he's still, for his first season, that was absolutely awesome. You know, he's still young. He's definitely um, definitely up for it under Guardiola as well. So I'm, I'm definitely uh, going with De Bruyne on this one. So I think I think it's just an no-brainer. I think everyone's going to choose De Bruyne. And for the strikers, it's obviously not as Latin. I was going to choose Latin, but it's kind of. I think he'll do. I think he'll do awesome. No, I'm not gonna lie. I think he's. I think he's a top signing for United and a free transfer. I think he'll do awesome. Loads of goals. But I'm gonna go with Aguero. It's a safer option. He's, he's scored at least 20 plus goals a season. Every season. Uh, there's no doubt about it. If he don't get injured, he's gonna probably score more under Guardiola. I, I can literally see it with De Bruyne and David Silva there. So they're gonna link up with Aguero, get even more points. It's. I think it's definitely going to be easier for Aguero. It's just it's just points in it really. Like he's going to he's bound to score at least one or two every game. Like it might even be unbiased, you know, for well he will do. <laughs> and for this final striker, I am going to go with. Is that light just brightened up or something? I feel more bright on the foot. And for the final striker, we're going to go with the next Man City player, Alvaro Negredo. Now this guy literally won us the title. I can't remember what it was. I think it was was it two? I can't remember. Like, I really can't remember. But if it wasn't for him and Aguero, we wouldn't have won that title the year because. He was literally the man. Aguero and Negredo played off each other and now he signed for Middlesbrough. I think, I don't think he'll stop. He's literally an amazing striker. Like, he's, he's strong. He's definitely gifted and he can, he can know, you know, the net is and whatnot. He's um, not cheap. I definitely think, I think he can rise up there with the top goal scorer. He was absolutely awesome for City. And Middlesbrough have done loads of great signs. Uh, they've got, they've just absolutely revamped the whole squad. So I think Negredo would, will do amazing for Middlesbrough. Um, I think he'll be like a, one of those players that you like, it's kind of like, you know, I can't explain it. Like they've got one good player. They probably have a lot of good players, but he's the only good player I know of up to now. I'm not going to check the squad. But he'll be that player that'll be like, he's, he's bound to score every game no matter what team he plays against. It. And he'll be, I mean, he'll get a, a good, um, 15 plus goals. I'm I'm saying that. I definitely think he, he won't be a, a I won't be a flop at Middlesbrough. I mean, the team he had at City and he scored. I can't I, I can't remember how many goals he scored. I probably have to search that up. He definitely scored a load of goals and he definitely helps us win that title. But for Middlesbrough, I don't I don't think it'll change. I don't think he'll win on the title per se. But he'll definitely um keep him off not getting relegated back down to the division. So I definitely think the Grado is a safe option. And I can't really think of any other striker. I don't know how much Ibrahimovic actually is. So I might have a switch around with him, but Negredo, I'm just going off experience because I thought he was absolutely amazing for So guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like button. And if you have a, a fantasy team, let me know yours down below. I might have a switch mine up before the team, or well, before the season actually starts. I would love to know all of your teams. Like, I think mine's okay. I think it can definitely be improved. And if mine can be improved, let me know. Because uh, I definitely want the most points in my league against all my mates and <laughs> my brothers and whatnot. Because they are wank at this game. And I... I think I came last last time, so uh, don't want that to happen again. But if you did enjoy, like I said, like the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and please do comment with improvements, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.